Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about Vladimir Putin and how he runs the country of Russia. And he runs the country of Russia with basically an iron fist. Right now, peaceful demonstrators are either sent to prison or they undergo intense psychiatric treatment. It's basically a crime to speak out against the Putin administration in Russia. And also, bribes are the order of the day. The bribe, the bribery industry in Russia can, makes about $300 billion a year. Whereas you combine education, welfare, and agriculture, though, that budget combined is only $8 billion of the country's budget. Bribery is $300 billion of the country's budget. And this has happened ever since Putin has been in office. Okay. Putin... Vladimir Putin joined the KGB in 1975. He was part of Soviet intelligence. And he admits a lot of his favorite songs still are Soviet patriotic songs and not Western rock music. Um, I'm only saying that to show that that proves that he's no friend of the West. And the this has just made the news. The British military intelligence has talked about how they've uncovered some information and they told news sources this, news sources reported it, that the Russian invasion of Crimea, Ukraine, the Crimea section of Ukraine, was just a prelude to invading the West. Well, right now, there's a lot of troops on the Crimean border and where the Crimean border goes, borders present, present day Ukraine. And also, Yes, the majority of the Crimea province wants to belong to Russia, but it's not anywhere near 100%. The elections that were monitored by the Russian government made it look like it was close to 100%. It's not that close. Also, okay, Vladimir Putin was being chauffeured one time, okay, and he was not driving the car, but the guy who was driving the car accidentally killed a five-year-old boy he was with his, the boy was with his parents. And the intelligence service was trying to rework the accident and move the debris around to make it look like the, the boy's parents were at fault and not Putin's driver. And Putin's driver was almost not brought up on charges. The only reason things like that changed, and barely changed, but they changed because the, the boy's family went public with it. And, but, the, but Putin's driver was given a very light sentence. So it was basically a joke. Okay. And like I said, bribes are the order of the day. Also, there is a very, very unequal um, distribution of wealth to the point where it's like third world country. Example, 110 billionaires control 35% of Russia's wealth. Yep, 110 billionaires control... 35% of the country's wealth. It's just, it's just a mafia-like state over there. And, okay, there were bombings of Russian apartments years ago. They were near Chechnya. And it was the Chechen separatists or the Chechen rebels were accused of bombing those apartment buildings. And I believe that they did, but not all the way. They had their hand in it, but one of this is proven evidence. One of the one of the bombs was linked to the Russian intelligence service. So the Russian intelligence service made it look like it was worse than it was, and they killed some of their own people to frame the Chechen rebels. So the Russian military went into Chechnya, took care of a lot of the Chechen terrorists, and that's why Putin has such a high approval rating nowadays. But now. I agree with how he's handling ISIS right now. And in, in the case in the Middle East, uh, Putin and Russia are the good guys. ISIS are the bad guys. They have a right to handle ISIS as aggressively as they are. But in Chechnya, there was a lot of exaggeration of what the Chechen rebels were doing. So Putin could go in there, combat terrorism, and get a very high approval rating. So even though Putin's cracking down on freedom and democracy, that's why he has a very high approval rating. And I watched a documentary on Putin. Yes, corruption's always been a problem in Russia, but Vladimir Putin made it much worse. Vladimir Putin made it the basically made corruption the order of the day. Also, and most of the 
agents that have spoken out, the intelligence agents that have spoken out against what happened in the bombing of those apartments, a lot of them have ended up dead. One of the most famous ones was a former KGB agent that died in Russia from radiation poisoning. No, a former KGB agent that died in England. Um, he was living in exile in England, and he died in England from radiation poisoning. That's just what happens. Usually you speak out against Vladimir Putin, you, you end up either in prison, or you undergo psychiatric treatment, or you end up dead. And also when Putin, his first assignment for the KGB was to go to um, East Germany, back when Germany was divided, and when he was in East Germany, um, he was caught stealing speakers. So he was committing theft, stealing a bunch of speakers. I mean, he's basically a gangster in power. So, anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.